Hi, I'm Leif Clayson, the creator of the Omnia 9. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, an internet stream uh, w w directly on the Omnia 9. Omnia 9 has built-in streaming encoders for a AAC, AAC+, MP2, MP3, Vorbis, and WMA. All of them are available. You can have as, mu as many streams as you like directly from the box, just streaming to your server. Uh, this way, you won't need uh, you won't need an extra audio card uh, or an extra computer or anything like that, and and you'll have no quality loss. Your stream will be as as clear as clean, loud, loud and dynamic sounding as is as is humanly possible. Uh, looking at the um, at the front panel interface here. Um, for uh, uh, well, uh, this Omnia 9 has the HD2 and HD3 option package, so we see the primary, secondary, and tertiary program. For right now, let's set up a, uh, a stream from the primary program. So we go into primary, and uh, in other videos we've looked at uh, at the FM processing, uh, but right now we're going to be looking at uh, the digital processing. So um, there's uh, there's three parts. Well, there's the uh, undo for digital, uh, the unprocessor. Um, here's the actual dynamics processing, which we've already set up, and here's the streaming encoder, Lavecast. Uh, on this, in this menu, uh, we see all the different streams uh, that are uh, that are available. But in the configuration options, you can change how many streams you want of each particular encoder type. Uh, right now, how about we set up an uh, an AAC Plus stream? Uh, it's a, a popular format. It's the best sounding format at the uh, at, at the lowest bit rates. So, uh, start by looking at the encoder settings. Uh, let's type in a title. As you um, as you t uh, click on an editable uh, editable control, uh, you get the on-screen keyboard, uh, which re resizes like everything else. So, if you add big large meters as you came in, just drag it up, and you'll be able to type. We'll just select this, and then we can start typing. W X X X the X. Okay, so that's our station name, and now for the bitrate setup, uh, because uh, we'll be using AAC Plus. Well, the key part of AAC Plus is SBR, spectral band replication. So we'll so we'll want to turn that on. For the bitrate, how about we um, um, how about we go with 64 kilobits per second? Done. Audio bandwidth, channel mode, all those we can leave as a default. This is the outgoing sample rate of the stream. We can set it to whatever we like because Omni 9 will resample the audio uh, with the highest quality resampler uh, so that it matches the encoder. Uh, for a low bitrate like this, if we're pushing the dynamics of the audio, if we're, if we're pushing the loudness of the audio with a lower bitrate codec, you're going to get distortion in the, um, inside, the inside the decoder. So for that reason, there's a separate gain adjustment control for each encoder. Uh, for AAC Plus, uh, it's at 64K. I happen to know we should be turning it down by 2 dBs. So let's do that. There's that. Now we go back out to LaveCast and let's look at the server settings. Uh, this prototype unit uh, has a built-in uh, as a built-in server. Um, it's running IceCast 2. So right now I'll be typing in the local I IP address. Normally, this would be the address of your ISP server, or if you have the server in-house, uh, it, it could be the host name, uh, as long as it's on the same network. Okay. And it's an IceCast 2 server, and the password on my particular server is HackMe, so let's leave it, let's leave it at that. And uh, the MIME type is AAC+. And here, let's enter a mount point. Uh, this is a server-specific setting, and uh, your, your IT manager will def uh, the, your IT guy will definitely know how to do this. Uh, but it, there's really nothing to it. And the URL, there's the URL of your station, wxxx.com. And genre, of course we play 80s and 90s, Lavecast. Now let's go b step back out and back into, and into the AAC2 encoder and we'll enable it. That's it. It's encoding, it's streaming, it's connected. Let's make sure it's actually playing some music as well. There we go. Now next, we're going to look at this laptop. Here's Winamp, commonly available audio player. And uh, now let's see if we can listen to the stream. So we press, so we press control, uh, control L and we type in the address of the Omnia unit, which is available from the front panel. I'll sh uh, and you'll see how in a different video. So it's Omnia 9 dash... 
99910 colon port 8000 forward slash wxxx.aac and we'll press OK and there it is streaming with uh, with titles and um, yeah, well, and next I'm going to show you how to set up title streaming so that your automation system can directly send out um, uh, so that your automation system can directly send out the song title into the stream as well as into RDS